Ah, da bizim de. Tebe. Ja. Eee, normal denge tsongoda. Da na jimize na zo. Ai basic. De. Tsamo. And da zo. Ji la malo sa le. And da na shingi. Jumuzi. Na jimuzi. Ah. Tela so ta kan da tsongo lo le ya. Tomang ye. Tari di kogab di sonje na malo ge tsongo lo le ya. And some digital shy. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, to <clears throat> all of you gathered here, uh, Venerable uh, Lama Lobsang and uh, Venerable Lord Chandrambache, and all of you from the IBC, as well as uh, all of you gathered here. Uh, at the first instance, I'd like to take the opportunity of um, expressing warm greetings to all of you. That's it. That's it. मिले देवे को तो जेवे की था और उसमें था किस किधर जेवे की है क्या और उसमें था ना किस शेखुये से से मैं आईबीसी सुम्बर है तो आईबीसी से भी ना निम्न सुम्स तो लेकिन शेयर अच्छे से भी शी क्या भी बोले तो अपने ये ये वे चल दा दावा दावा चीनी रिंडिया तो इस Subuh mati ya cuma sih, tentu ya bos cari apa yang insang. Ini ke tuan ni, ini mah tujuh di tuan dah sih. Tapi ni macam ni sih lah sih ada tu sih. Dua, sebenarnya lesar di sebelah ini. Ada ni tu, tak ngah lihat ni sih, kasih lah. Kena tu susu susu beri mata ber, tak ngah lihat ni sih, mana? ที่ทั้งเรื่องเทียบเรื่องจีนเขาจะเสียสเกมิโดเราเนี่ยกินเนี่ยกินเสียอย่างนี้ใช่ไหมเนี่ยอันนี้ดูสิท่านเนี่
um, inconvenience you have to, to go through, and uh, I, I appreciate uh, your presence here today. Mm. <coughs> mm. Nam The Casual in talking about uh, the glorious uh, life story of uh, Chitin Melarepa uh, <clears throat> from the uh, beginning to the end, of course, uh, uh, I'm not someone who is in a position to be able to do so, and also, of course, we do not have uh, the time um, to be able to uh, uh, go through the whole sort of breadth and length of the life story of uh, Chitin Melarepa. <coughs> so, um, in that way, uh, we um, have to attempt to focus on the very essence of the uh, life of uh, Chitin Milarepa. And obviously, among uh, uh, prominent uh, enlightened masters in the world, uh, um, uh, Chitin Milarepa obviously claims uh, a very important place there. And uh, <coughs> so, this sort of important uh, place or the fame of Milarepa uh, probably should not be just left to a uh, matter of uh, um, history, uh, <clears throat> sort of a matter of story. And uh, uh, the purpose of, essential purpose of it should be how that in our lives we might be able to, in some ways, uh, emulate the life of Milarepa to whatever extent. And uh, from the point of view of the incredible, the endurance and uh, the qualities of forbearance of uh, Chidun Milarepa and uh, that of the <coughs> uh, incredible, unwavering uh, commitment um, to fulfill one's vision as well as the, um, the depth and sort of the breadth of um, uh, wisdom or discernment uh, involved. And so it might be in our uh, interest to, um, uh, to whatever degree we can sort of uh, probe into such a <coughs> aspect of the uh, uh, life of Milarepa and how we can in whatever ways uh, um, that 
imp uh, apply that in our own lives or emulate. <clears throat> and so, that we just don't uh, leave it, uh, read it as a sort of story of the past and simply kind of leave it or put it aside as just simply uh, some interesting story of the past. In fact, what has been uh, constantly emphasized is the uh, <clears throat> liberating uh, life stories are the practice of uh, uh, following uh, practitioners or future practitioners. So in that vein, that how we can continue to ride on the sort of the example and inspiration of uh, such prominent uh, masters, Chitin Melanepa, and uh, gain some benefit from such. I'm <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going Zidangi Nangamopelia, she has read her. Lord and Dawadiso, has read. Ships have a chain. Sindhi Guerre, the Jagi, Lucetti, Cheese of this, Casual, should church him mother. My Penelope,ゲ。だらま、ティ、ジュ、マバレ。マバロザベゲ。トンロ。ミティンバ。ジャミジュ、ルユギ、テテルティジュナロ。ミティンバジュスティ、オンリーアレス。ジャミジュスティ
Lugu talk of Minajimba, or a Sunday others. So, in uh, concerning ourselves with the life story of Milarepa, uh, there is uh, uh, <clears throat> that aspect of the sort of the recorded history or recorded life stories of uh, such prominent masters of Milarepa. And within that, uh, one uh, uh, element is that of the uh, recorded sort of time and rather the year and the particular date, such uh, important, such and such important events uh, took place or uh, might have uh, taken place. So, in this regard, uh, in the past, uh, in the very uh, remote past, in the sort of the Tibetan history of recording, uh, such uh, dates and years were not uh, uh, very clearly mentioned or uh, not uh, paid sort of much uh, attention to. And uh, <clears throat> so, therefore, um, that there are certain uh, constantly certain conflicts about uh, the year of uh, birth and the year of passing away of such and such uh, 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 prominent uh, masters. For, for instance, in going over the uh, recorded information about uh, uh, the, uh, the, the teacher of uh, uh, Milarepa, Marpa the translator, for example, um, in going over the recorded information, there are ten different um, sort of dates mentioned uh, uh, with regard to uh, which might have been uh, the uh, when uh, Marpa was born, and so uh, <clears throat> the. Um, one of the reasons seems to be and that uh, following the uh, Tibetan calendar that uh, not only there is the 12 year <coughs> cycle but along with that the particular elements that go with each year and so sometimes that uh, <coughs> there is some uh, sort of contradiction between the year and the element and so therefore some confusion over uh, what sort of uh, time or date it might have been. So, in the case of Chitin Melarepa, there is uh, three different sort of uh, um, uh, times that are mentioned as to when uh, Chitin Melarepa might have been born. <coughs> and in the case of Thakbo um, <coughs> uh, Rinpoche or Lord Gambopa, and uh, when he was born and so on, um, that uh, all the information come to the same point. So there is uh, unanimity and there is sort of no conflict in terms of uh, uh, the <coughs> uh, times and the dates of birth and so forth. So what is oftentimes done is that uh, since uh, the date of birth and so on of uh, uh, Gambopa is uh, pretty much ascertained and uh, um, all sort of uh, um, uh, agree unanimously based on that then sort of moving backward and uh, when Milarepa might have been born and so forth and, and along that line Marpa and so forth. So uh, this is a, a way that in terms of the date and time how it is being viewed. Mm. Um, to go. Uh, 
那时候中国人，那地南的，你的他妈可能不充实的，呃，那种中等的，经常，你就拿那个充，那真的，那空气，那药的，可能充充够了，空气药的，药的满的空气啊，那空气它就开始，清气，就拿了点子，上了，那空
unsavory task of um, uh, sending Milarepa to um, learn the art of sorcery and through um, <clears throat> becoming good at the art of sorcery and the Milarepa through the such a sort of spell or sorcery and at a certain time uh, that caused the collapsing of uh, the house of the aunt and uncle, the special event, and then causing the death of some 35 people and a lot of disasters. And not only that, uh, after that, uh, to um, sort of uh, add more to it, um, brought a hellstorm, and again through the practice of uh, uh, sorcery or what is known as black magic, that uh, then uh, bringing hellstorm, destroying and the uh, uh, many uh, uh, fields or harvest. And so in this way, uh, a lot of harm was brought through the power of the sorcery of uh, Milarepa. Ah, <laughs> We have to get a brother, samurai, there and the sister. That is not easy. 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 That is Sumdi, Oda, and Yogoja. The Yogoja, Yogoja. Any, eh, was a Yarish Nazi, Uyo, Green Palace, you got any Yogana City, the Nicharas, the Nicha. Taine, Miller de Law, Chicken Tarisa, and the Law, Jews, Ladies Dana. Jonga Jurus, the one lady is done. And then that comes with Amadi. That tensu is dance. That the lotus ladies, Uma Kajimija, lots of their tensu is done will do something. And Morangi Binyan, Sulian, Kajure, Devil Chair. In the party in the Chungju is done. Party is done, indeed, all the army. Lumbutik, Michirin Cesaris, get on. A good ane get on. And the party in Alolia, Domutin Alolia, Milenevic, I make, and that over the way, over the Annie, I wish I had chess, two chess, and the Prodan is right. That the name, and that the Lodges is odious. There's a woman part, you know, she had some superiorities. Love, did you sign the dish, and that is it, you mean this way, that the dish is left. And the Dusan, oh, I wish you didn't argue. And can't do it. Toshi, Madame, the Yawins, that was said, Toshi, Madame. My city, you know, there's someone of woman, eh, brother, eh, be up or pie, yarn, yash out in the day, mother, can't do it, hard to get a marriage. And this is the doom, my dear, maybe it's the doom. And the logician, can't do it, me, my mother, madam. My jobs. Miss Lamme and two donors. Carriage you and a teacher of staff. They let this and that the bed is casual. Company to win Yambe Tolia and a bed is casualty. It's hard of change. Did it chumble? Probably I need to sort of uh, retract or maybe um, explain it a little bit in more detail in that sort of how all the situation came about is uh, 
as I had mentioned earlier, that uh, <coughs> uh, Milarepa had, uh, Milarepa's father had entrusted uh, the wealth and property to his able uncant and uh, uh, the, uh, the Milarepa's uh, uncle and aunt. And uh, now after Milarepa passed away, the Mil uncle... Milarepa Allah. That uh, his Milarepa's uh, father passed away, and uh, um, sorry, and then um, Milarepa's um, uh, that uh, the the aunt and uncle took uh, um, the ownership of the property and so forth. Then uh, they made actually servants out of uh, Milarepa's mother, Milarepa himself, and his uh, younger sister. And they were put through a lot of work, um, as uh, as it is said that uh, during the summer time uh, they were put to the hard work of you know um, the farming, and during the winter time the hard work of shearing the wool and uh, working with the wool and so forth, and so anyway that uh, put through a uh, uh, lot of hardship, and so. And they have been going through this for a number of years. And then now, of course, in the meantime, Milarepa has come to age. And as it has been, um, the will of um, uh, <coughs> uh, Milarepa's father and uh, to hand over the wealth to Milarepa when he came to age. And uh, so Milarepa's mother, she uh, thought how best to go about getting the sort of the property or wealth back and so she organized um, to the sort of best of her ability whatever she had organized a small party and uh, where she um, invited uh, the more sort of prominent uh, people of the area and uh, whoever was sort of somebody as well as of course the aunt and, and the uncle and uh, <clears throat> And then offered whatever uh, small sort of scale feast and there then uh, she sort of reminded the aunt and uncle or sort of publicly and uh, how you know ha what has been the will of uh, Milarepa's father and now that Milarepa had come to age and to hand over and there were a number of people assembled there who were aware of such and uh, relatives and so forth who backed, sort of supported uh, uh, Milarepa's mother and saying yes that was so and now it should be, uh, the wealth should be returned to um, uh, Milarepa. And of course, and the aunt and uncle instead of um, um, <clears throat> that uh, uh, returning the wealth in fact uh, said uh, I got very um, angry and upset and how could they make such a, a ridiculous uh, claims uh, when, when in re reality it was the uncle who had borrowed this wealth to Milarepa and Milarepa before he passed away just returned them to him. That's exactly you know, what the sort of um, uh, situation has been and so therefore how can they make such a ridiculous uh, claims and uh, to make himself sort of more righteous uh, looking he ended up even beating up Lepa's uh, mother and you know him and sister and so forth and then um, that uh, uh, threatening them and uh, saying that um, uh, and also sort of expressing his arrogance and uh, <coughs> um, uh, if um, uh, you have sort of uh, you know strength of men or power, then you, uh, you, you can uh, uh, bring a sort of army against me and, uh, and if you don't have such sort of force, then you can bring, you know, uh, harm through a spell or sorcery. And so that's sort of how en ended up uh, my, uh, uh, that mother resorting to, um, you know, what uh, uh, she could, uh, you know, do in trying to uh, uh, the, um, uh, take revenge.
Dat gaan ze hebben, dat is Wat is er dan? Miller heeft een lumbaire aan de partij. Thomas is er bij zijn. Chant is toen in de dag. Chant. Chant is er dan. En dan wordt het gegeven. Het is een beetje 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 een ngazube ซุดูเจกุมตะกระจีจุสันนะตะเนเบเจตาจีเจเจกินสแต่ดิสดูสันนะอันดาโมเนเจนะตะกระงโมเนเจนะจีกระชูตะเนสะบะลาดะกระจ
um, out of um, uh, sorcery and uh, fulfill, uh, you know, the task that uh, she uh, wished and uh, him to perform. And so um, <clears throat> and that's how he left. And then, as uh, uh, as mentioned in the later on, he uh, performed all these uh, uh, deeds. But uh, that was actually the last time that after he left to um, uh, study or the practice and study the art of sorcery, that was the last time um, uh, that uh, he had seen his mother. Tujan, <coughs> And Lama Digi, and every Kuzuria, two lives done it. The two day, one and two minutes, the Malabich. Babe, get out some board in the sea, Boshot Havor with the name, Akashi, other with him. Lepsi, when a Malus, when a Malus. And Tamara just done it, and under Lama Digi, Miller Jevati, Unetane, Kazua, Korandia, Gange, Yava. Daddy, see here. Tamara Dusana, Takada, two lava, Kuberti, Tujan, Kuberti, Takada, the issue in a little bit to get to down to Drupsi and to that turning. This is Shumaresha. So, as then uh, after he made that promise to his mother, he departed to uh, learn the art of sorcery. And uh, as was going also, um, there were um, several um, young people from very well-to-do family who also wanted to join him to uh, uh, learn the art of uh, sort of black magic or sorcery. And uh, uh, the, of course, the purpose uh, for them was different from uh, what uh, Milarepa, um, you know, was expected to do, and for them it was more, uh, you know, for the fun of it. It might be a very interesting sort of tool um, uh, to to learn, maybe just uh, simply for the fun of it, be able to do something uh, uh, like that. And so they approach uh, um, the <coughs> masters of, of sorcery, and then um, initially. Uh, the master they approached, uh, he did not uh, teach sort of the real art. He taught some sort of more uh, <coughs> that uh, uh, really fake ones. Uh, sounded like big and sounded very impressive, but uh, in reality, sort of, it didn't hold the uh, you know carry the impact that uh, um, um, it should carry. But uh, when it came to Milarepa and uh, with the sort of the the persistence that he had, and uh, in having listened to his very, um, uh, you know, difficult and uh, um, sort of touching stories, uh, that uh, it was very clear that uh, he really had gone through a very difficult and rough time, and then yes, um, uh, uh, and he was determined to learn it, and therefore um, he was taught and he accomplished. <coughs> And he performed the sorceries that he did. I do understand. Andrea, Melere, Yum de Melere, Tula, Mandaponia, the Carla Versana, Curan, the Tula, the Tuda, Tempasis, Le Mayona, Tula Matavis, Lejon, and Ye, Curan, Mikitons of Dana, Siginsa. I did not have some Indusane, the Andrea and Hongi, Casual. Do Galer Kepsi, the Dear Tonel, the Jupiter Tusumere, that the 
In fact, um, <coughs> that Milarepa had to accomplish uh, this, uh, the art of sorcery because uh, uh, prior to leaving for such task, uh, and uh, his mother um, told him sort of her last words were that uh, he, has, he can only return home having accomplished such art. And if he came home, having failed to accomplish such art, or the mastery of such art, then she would uh, sort of end her life uh, uh, in his very presence and uh, in front of him. And so that uh, uh, given the sort of the magnitude of um, uh, the task at hand, Milarepa, um, under very uh, great uh, sort of uh, uh, difficulty, and uh, accomplished. And uh, <clears throat> in Milarepa's life um, story, sort of the broad outline is the, the, sort of the broad outline or the broad sort of landmark of Milarepa's life stories that the samsaric and the worldly aspect of Milarepa's life. And then, of course, the spiritual aspect and the spiritual sort of feat of Milarepa. And uh, so, uh, this one is the key element of the sort of the worldly or the samsaric aspect of uh, Milarepa's life in that uh, the essence of which is that uh, um, uh, in accordance with the, um, in the worldly context uh, um, that uh, uh, the uh, uh, genuine wish and uh, uh, sort of reasonable wish of uh, his mother and uh, and then he was able to fulfill his mother's wish. And then you can't change the name, can't you turn the chevy and that? Hongi Amalia, Zawache, Lamalia, Cuba, Zizi, Yaba. Dan T. Tolia to Suzuki, that you say, Bell, don't to the Nizzi, Nindo, you have a seat, you have a dance. And Jubashu, so, <clears throat> be it in this uh, worldly context uh, or spiritual context, uh, the uh, what sort of uh, uh, comes uh, out, uh, or what the sort of the essence of Milarepa's life is that. Uh, um, his uh, affection for his, to his mother is uh, completely evident and his uh, devotion to his uh, uh, Lama is obviously evident. And then that uh, his sort of uh, one-pointed focus to accomplish whatever uh, he uh, has sort of set his mind to 
ac accomplish and sort of anchored in that, uh, both in terms of the determination as well as in terms of consistency that uh, he wouldn't sort of settle for less than the fulfillment of... Uh, uh, so in this way that uh, um, uh, he was able to, um, from a worldly point of view, accomplish the uh, wish of his mother and uh, completely, thoroughly. And then from the spiritual <coughs> point of view, out of uh, uh, that uh, um, the, uh, unwavering uh, devotion <coughs> and anchored in sort of the uh, one-pointedness of the uh, sort of the conviction to fulfill um, his um, the purpose in accordance with the wish of his teacher and uh, that uh, <coughs> within one lifetime and uh, in one body that he uh, proclaim the uh, state of complete uh, um, enlightened uh, outlook or a complete uh, um, uh, realization of Buddhahood. Um. Just a minute, the Kurangi, the Pegos, the Langas, and the Jabu. Kurangi, she got away. Draw was the dark, Pegos Langatria, but Shagia, Pena Madobe, and did you mission Dagi, Tilia, Tadano, Jim, and Tilia? She got a mission down more of a sunset. Musunches. Our mission down, I can do tons of conditioning and assemble. Jesse, <laughs> Sisters, of the Congo Simon de Carada, Joran de Cheva de Candidate, study. Church around the Suji than Germindus. Cheva Suji than Germindus. The study Musungi is a Zoda, Musungi. And Joran Suji the Germindus and Joran Chirandi, Mission Suji the Germia Vinza, and me Casueta, Pesci, Kent Savashi, meet one earlier, Kent Savashi. And <laughs> So soon, Missy get on Kadine. The Anitana singing, Missy Casuel, Kadish Casuel, Telia, as you some shoes of Madassi. Kadine Musu said ever such. Missy and Altadan Kadirjung, Tonan Kadirjung, and a mutual mission that most of us have so Missy get in a sort of mother. So soon. Music <laughs> One very important uh, <coughs> uh, aspect of the uh, life of Milarepa is uh, <coughs> that uh, when uh, he had sort of chosen whatever path and journey, he walked it all the way. And he did not astray from his uh, sort of um, the intended uh, journey, intended path. 
and uh, he did not deviate from sort of the vision that uh, he had. And uh, <clears throat> so he had this um, incredible, in a very positive way, uh, uncompromising quality about uh, um, the, his journey. That generally in the world, um, more than often, and that uh, we always uh, make ourselves be influenced by how others see. And so we always are willing to kind of deviate from our original um, sort of vision or that uh, fo focus. And so I think if people don't see this the right way, so maybe I should not do it this way. You know, the society doesn't see it this way, so I should not you know, go this way. I should sort of um, uh, blend in or I should kind of give in to uh, whatever societal, whatever uh, environmental um, influence. And, uh, but Milarepa, that once he had made up his mind and uh, there will be no compromise, <coughs> sort of no sort of two thoughts about it. And um, among many of such uh, uncompromising aspects of the life of Milarepa, one of course such instances that uh, uh, living in the absolute uh, remote uh, uh, wilderness and with hardly anything in the way of clothes and no, you know, mm, regular human food available to him except what was there, sort of nuts and things and whatever was grown. And uh, then <coughs> during one of the rare visits from his sister, because his sister, even though she was in a very difficult situation herself, she was absolutely shocked at the state of sort of Milarepa and how could he live like this and uh, unlike anyone else, you know, in that situation or circumstances, uh, like uh, unlike anyone else, you're supposed to live like the others or similar to the okay, others yeah. and that um, the way you are doing things, just you don't fit in with anyone else. You don't fit in your, um, you know, um, uh, uh, situation. So this is, a, you don't fit in with the situation. And this is like totally ridiculous. And in fact, given the prevailing perception, what you're doing is wrong, mistaken. And how you can lead such a sort of mistaken life, which, uh, uh, you know, which is like ridiculous in the eyes of others and uh, sort of uh, uh, unreal in the eyes of others. So, but uh, uh, Milarepa never sort of, you know, gave in to the whatever prevailing, supposedly the regular normal way of life. And so I think from what, uh, what we can take in um, from Milarepa's life is, this is a very important lesson this is a very, very big lesson <clears throat> because uh, more than often that in life, in our own life, living an, uh, our own life, we are not able to stick with the sort of vision or the sense of journey and purpose we have in our mind. We are more than often willing to be sort of stray away and uh, um, that have others sort of... Uh, influence creep in and uh, as if we have to do everything to sort of save other people's face, so to speak. And, uh, and so that, uh, that if I don't do it this way, then others will not sort of, you know, like me respond to or whatever, uh, would not be normal and so forth. So always we're willing to sort of cave in to whatever ordinarily is sort of a normal thing to do and probably this, is, uh, this, this cost us, uh, you know, um, in the long run uh, uh, immensely. And so in this way, that uh, when your sort of mission or your vision is clear, that it is probably important that you don't deviate from it, that you stay anchored in it. Pena, ming wusu chayade, ming wusu chayade, 
Çözün tam evlülüşe. Min usun çeytana susuyu ki dünlümle anca. Ben de bizim önü bir şey yapayım. Bizim önü bir şey yapayım. Bu olacı da, bu olacı. Bu olacı da, bu olacı. Pungu ci yarası, pungu, dongi. Bu olacı, bu olacı, pungu. Pungu gövbe olacı. Pungu gövbe olacı. Şimdi bu olacı, bu olacı, pungu ci kalışın. Nika pungu kalışın, şen şey, çimbarası. Then do this and Nagali to meet his two son, meet his little bit, Ninja Zan, the star. Ninja made Pungudi, Jogudi, Mini, Pungu Jogudi, Shaja. Said Uzan, and what? And a good year, Yanji, Jogi Jim. Bola de Pungan Shay. No, more like the Gambit was large. Dedi düdüz sana, yani ya mizu karlar sana, o da kopy mi be de selfish, mi randevu için bir şeyi dost, yani Kur'an gemiye de kandan kandan, Kur'an on bugü kandı ya şu anca, zıdı şey onda, mi de randevu sabıçı bir şeyi dost. Daha dedi indi sana, daha harcı sana, Kaçer da, ne bu de? Da mola de şekil var. Mola de ne bu bu gansha. Bu la kamba tuzu yöndü istan. Kaçer se. Da de çünge mi de. Kaçer se. Çekçe. An tamar edin istan. Ene kuni orda mola kamba tuzu yöndü istan. Ene bir mid ni kaçur eda. Arada dost mi di? Ana mi di? Kubas dost. An Kubas şu dost. Ane Kur'an kime diye bu bugü kankiye? Kur'an kabat şu cinde. Kubas şu dost lares. Daha tabii mi di? Kur'an ni ka kabat şu bugü tan. Daha di ne? Ene mi di karlarsın? O da di mi di onu eti ne karşıda? Eh mi? Jantan mekyo, mi be çöpçü mü şüphesi dost. Pungu yüge yüge diğe amağe maşeyen çeyin. En kandan 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 çok haram. Neres? Da karıcı oraya be, pungu gan şeyen amandı, maşeyen amandı. Da kandan dedi şey, en misu da ko, misu tonan dramı da yunguru vada. Da yine ha, da ju susu çik çeğe oraya madı. Da, dangba çik çeğe oraya madı be, misu karışı emi genga dağı çoğuna tabi. Pajı çeşitliğin var mı? Değil soru için. Azı tam son, ki mi ngosun olsun var mı? Mi zi sosu yok ki tonan da, de zi da. Mi zi sosu liye geza, tanji şeriye mi? Dile ya, pay attention olsun var mı? Dile ki tonan da çeri çeğe oraya de, yimbe ne, beri mi ngosun olsun çağsın. Sosu yok ki mi zi de, mi ngosun çağsın çağsın çağsın. Ama mi zi tembo sağcı, dünyanın tembo sağcı. Ben de, Tak ya bas aja, nunggu marwah, dan jemput jenis saya sampai. So, maybe along this line, I can share a story with you, and if I can recall it properly. And so, this with regard to that, of course, we have to be considerate, but more than often, we cannot live our lives just to simply to please others. And uh, so for instance, there's a story that there uh, was an elderly couple and uh, one of their best possession was uh, um, a donkey and uh, also quite a uh, uh, weak uh, donkey. And so when they had to go from some place, you know, one place to another, and then um, that uh, uh, they both, you know, rode on the donkey, and this elderly couple, and then of course um, left to people's um, opinions and perception. Then others would say, how sort of unkind, uncompassionate of these people, both of them riding on the same one old weak 
donkey. And so, of course, um, uh, <coughs> we uh, always sort of affected by popular perception, what have you, and said, oh, so maybe that's not the right thing to do. And then what they did was that uh, the, um, uh, the old man, he rode on the donkey, and uh, then he had uh, the, his um, wife, or the older lady, uh, walking. And then people were saying, oh, what a selfish old man, you know? He has, he's, uh, you know, enjoying riding the donkey, and poor old lady, you know, he make him, make her walk. And then I think it was like, same thing. Then, okay, okay so now this is how we are seen. So you, you're just simply have, li living by, you know, other people's perception or, you know, to sort of please others for that matter, actually. And then, uh, now they change the role, and so uh, she's riding the donkey, and he's walking. And uh, so then something similar, you know, so how, how can that be, you know, how that, uh, you know, the uh, this stupid man is... Um, you know, like, uh, just he's so stupid. Why he is letting the you know uh, old lady ride alone? You know, he should share. They should share or whatever. And the thing is, uh, so then they thought you know nothing is working, right? So that uh, they might as well both of them walk, you know, and let the donkey sort of you know, go free, and so both of them end up walking. And there's still people say, how stupid, when they have a donkey, why they don't ride it? <laughs> you know? And everything, so, yes, of course, living in society, oftentimes we have to be sort of a little bit uh, aware of our surroundings. But on the other hand, if we live our lives not by the vision or sort of the, the purpose that we have, but simply, gullibly to please others, obviously, we'll never be able to fulfill any purpose. Because, I mean, the world is full of perceptions and opinions and what have you and everything, and how can you just, uh, you know, uh, like, go along with any little perception and be affected by it? So, um, probably that's um, on the line of that, uh, yes, once one has made up with one's mind and sort of, and uh, it's an important thing to go along with it. Uh, no break. Mm. ตัดเนี่ยมีเลเวลเบกตาคาร์ฟูเอตัดกราดซีกูซีตัดสปิริตชวลกราดจิกติงเดนเดบัสนาดราดคาเบชชุยตัดคัมเพลชิสมาร์
ဒီကြီးရှင်နဲ့နာမတလေးနဲ့တိစ်ကဆိုတော့ထုတ်လေးရကြီးကဆိုတော့မွန်တဲ့တာညီမူမင်သူကောင်းပါတော့ဒီတ
Talelo Megalia, Tijabe, Pesit Namibuizro. This is yours. Mabel Lodge of Chilo is at the Omaras. A means of the Omaras. Since I come to do Sana Cantor, Tonsegi, Casual Palat in the Sorcerers, you have Jack. Cantaria and Ticundulia, Charge. A conk Nilu Dunze, Concundulia, Charcovic, Dunze. To save us, that you mean a madbegity when a casual teleabe, Yarvista, Manache, that you are be Nizia, that you are the wish of Sando, that come at an aging chair was at your demelge. And the Diva Sando, Sinet Diva, Nature, Diva Santamis, and the Indusane, and the good chevies and other uses squares. The day is a dear's casual, took a portion of those. About the Jay and Tamar Tene Kong Karasunusana and Dabe Chu Narochis, Togu Narochis, Shuduzane or that Kura Nets and Chu and a Togu, young Maris Yana Nets and a Togu Che, Chu Lamashidaz and Shu Yana Nets and Chu Shu, Togu Kura Jus, Mata Nigaz and young Maris. That day in Dusan, Dak and Dago, Dogu de Korang, say you say. Sure, the Lama Marbe, no good say. There is so with regard to Milarepa's embarking on the importance of landmark uh, spiritual journey, and uh, the um, Milarepa is known to have first. Uh, approach uh, one uh, 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 Dokchen master and uh, there are a number of um, um, uh, stories along that line but uh, uh, in uh, uh, short uh, uh, the master told him that uh, uh, the great teacher that he actually has a uh, uh, karmic connection with is uh, uh, Marpa, the great translator, and uh, so he should uh, uh, find him and uh, study and practice under him. And so that's sort of how the um, uh, the way to his uh, uh, um <coughs> getting to Marpa was initially um, uh, paved, and then he uh, Milarepa went in uh, search of Marpa, while. Um, you know the story um, probably yourself, but um, <coughs> and uh, uh, then in his search, then as getting closer to where Marpa was supposed to be um, a living, and um, as he was reaching closer, he asked the people as to where is this incredible, eminent uh, um, uh, the teacher Marpa Chirigilodu, the great translator. And uh, somehow, because maybe uh, Marpa did not sort of, um, you know, associate with the people well, or so uh, with uh, seemingly um <coughs> uh, that uh, individualistic uh, sort of um, uh, ways, so people said, "No, we don't know any such uh, uh, eminent translator uh, known as Marpa Chigilodra, but." Uh, um, we know of one sort of um, Tibetan said uh, Uncle Ludger, you know, and uh, uh, Ludger, uh, Uncle Ludger, and uh, yes, um, sometimes he does some farming, and sometimes he's known to have gone to India, and he comes up with some thin uh, Buddhist texts uh, uh, written on, you know, ancient uh, sort of leaflets and so forth. So. Uh, <coughs> then, uh <coughs> so finally, anyway, he managed to find Marpa, and uh, uh, this uh <coughs> in this uh, village, and uh, when he met Marpa, and then he uh, told about all his, uh, you know, uh, difficulties, all the um, incredible harmful um, uh, activities that he had done or committed and uh, 
how he need uh, mm, seriously needed <coughs> sort of spiritual help from Marpa. Uh, Marpa didn't uh, sort of um, easily, you know, uh, give in, uh, and Marpa uh, did not sort of um, show any great emotions and saying, "Oh, I'm sorry to hear your very sad stories. Yes, I will take you in and embrace you, and I will, you know, do whatever." Uh, you know, uh, give you whatever you need. And Marpa, in fact, said, you know, you can't, uh, you know, brag about all the, you know, harmful things that uh, you have done uh, to me, you know, and uh, I did not send you to do these things. And then, uh, so Marpa was not easily warming up to him. And later on, when Milarepa requested, you know, that. Uh, um, he wants to completely um, commit himself to the um, <coughs> practice of the Dharma and requested Marpa if he would uh, provide him uh, food and shelter and uh, uh, Dharma teachings. And uh, Marpa said, of course not, you know, uh, that uh, um, uh, I can, uh, either I can provide you with teachings Dharma teachings, you can find food and shelter somewhere else, somewhere else. Or I can provide you food and shelter, you can find the Dharma teachings from somebody else. And then uh, uh, Melarepa, of course, said, uh, I will find food and shelter from somewhere else. I want uh, uh, Dharma from you. And uh, <coughs> so, so in this way, sort of the relationship began. And uh, the, um, mm, both Marpa and Milarepa were uh, ordinary householders in that sense and uh, lay practitioners, householders. And uh, starting from Marpa's principal disciple, uh, Gambopa, then the monastic uh, tradition. So, so starting from um, uh, Gambopa's, um, uh, uh, Milarepa's uh, main teacher, Gambopa, at uh, the monastic uh, tradition began. And so prior to Gambopa, uh, the lineage holder, uh, Marpa, Milarepa, were householders. Milarepa, <coughs> <coughs> Tang <laughs> And <coughs> Tosa <laughs> When <coughs> Tapa Kajor Dubuman was some of a bed, same ever. I just summoned a lot of tapes, same ever, jiggy. 
So the way in which uh, uh, Marpa brought Milarepa on the spiritual path of realization was, of course, totally unthinkable and uh, unconventional. And uh, as uh, <coughs> you have probably learned from the life story of the Milarepa, that uh, among other things, uh, uh, seemingly nothing to do with the Dharma instructions, uh, uh, Marpa had Milarepa build all kinds of, um, you know, uh, <coughs> sort of irregular uh, structures, and um, uh, that uh, not sort of normal, um, you know, house, uh, uh <coughs> and so all different kinds of shapes. And then he would have him build something, and all by himself, forget about. Uh, you know, wages or salaries or anything, and hardly any food in, you know, um, terms of uh, uh, giving anything uh, in return. And uh, then when uh, Milarepa was halfway through with one structure, uh, Marpa would come and say, oh, um, I had last, I had yesterday, I had not thought through, I thought through well about this one, and you will have to, uh, um, undo it all together and to build another structure. And then when Marpa is, uh, Milarepa is uh, uh, d doing the other structure, and again halfway through or so, uh, Milarepa, uh, Marpa would come and say, oh, mm, I think when I was uh, planning this, I was a um, little bit drunk. And so therefore, mm, um, it's not how I want it. And then you have to do, uh, again, you know, um, <clears throat> undo the whole thing and uh, build another one and so on. And finally, uh, he, uh, Marpa made him build this uh, uh, nine-storied um, structure, and, uh, which is actually well known and uh, uh, it's a, a kind of standing to this day. And uh, uh, even during the, um, the incredible uh, so-called cultural revolution that it survived. And uh, uh, when I was young, I had the chance to, uh, 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 to visit that sacred uh, spot. And uh, it is uh, quite clear that it was built by one person. And uh, it's not uh, high, you know, as a building. And um, I think when I visited the place, I was, uh, I was about 13 years old. And even then, I had to bend quite a lot to sort of um, go inside. But anyway, it is a very important uh, uh, expression of uh, Milarepa's sort of um, uh, uh, spiritual uh, success and, uh, and so legacy and uh, um, it still stands. And uh, so um, <coughs> um, that one um, important element uh, here is that uh, uh, what uh, Mar what Milarepa was put through, and uh, and what uh, sort of Marpa rather put Milarepa through, and what Milarepa endured in sort of ordinary um, relative circumstances, we might say it's quite unthinkable. You know, we wouldn't even conceive of it, let alone actually. Uh, you know, somebody telling and somebody doing it. So probably there is an important sort of uh, 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 point there too. That is Andrew Jimina and Miller Marbet, Miller of Dinichen, that would be Tim Tugni. I was ready. Draw me top down that Jim Tabe. Arjun 
ตาคันตาจิบจิเรนดูซาตางาซุกิกบดิดูซาอะเรคาดเนงาเชอร์ดูคาร์ชาดิดูซานาอาจูมูกุยเซอาดิ ก็ตินิจิกิมาร์เบคันดิจิกันดาร์กัลชูเรมิเลเรบาลิยาเวตุบุคันเซสตามิเนียมิเลเรเบกตาติเอ็กเซปต์ซามาร์เบติทานเน
So they planned this thing that uh, now it's just too much for Milarepa. And so Milarepa is going to leave now, going to go home. And uh, so then um, she, so this was just um, kind of a little small plot on their part. Hopefully this will work and, uh, um, and uh, Marpa will maybe hopefully embrace him a little bit better. And uh, so they prepared some provision like a backpack for um, <coughs> Milarepa and then they were outside of the door and Milarepa, Marpa was upstairs and, uh, and hoping he will hear them. And so they were saying, Milarepa was saying, no, I'm going, no, I just like can't take this anymore sort of thing and leaving. And then Damema saying, no, 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 don't leave, you know, you can't leave. And, and, so, and then, of course, Marpa, as was expected, saw this and looking down and uh, instead of saying, oh, you know, sorry, I will treat you better, stay back or whatever, he said, what is this talk about his going? Doesn't he remember he has offered his body, speech and mind to me? You know, it's not over yet. <laughs> and on top of that, whatever that provision he's carrying, that was offered to me and not to him. He can't take that with him, even if he's leaving. Uh, and so, but under all of these circumstances that uh, in essence, in short, uh, Milarepa never sort of completely, you know, uh, uh, gave up. And uh, that whatever hardship or difficulties Milarepa was put through, that somehow, somewhere, he has an ability to accommodate and he has an ability to accept and uh, make a sense out of it. Probably this has to do with um, uh, confidence and devotion. And so faith and devotion. So when we're talking about faith and devotion, then maybe this has to do with the devotion. Then of course uh, it may be important that to understand what devotion really means. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> Uh, so um, here it says um, there's some time for uh, questions and uh, firstly uh, don't ask any difficult questions I will not be able to answer and it is said uh, there are some questions only the omniscient ones can answer. And so put those questions aside. And then uh, if you can sort of um, uh, stick to the uh, subject, and if there are some questions, uh, maybe might be able to answer. And um, so don't go outside of the topic and uh, don't ask some questions, political or otherwise questions. Uh, I'm not in, in a position not able to answer. I don't know how to answer such questions. So just, uh, um, you know, make it clear in that sense. Um, so um, those who have uh, the questions can raise their hands. We have volunteers with mics here. They can come up to you. Holiness, uh, there are two sentences which I hear and I don't know the meaning. Uh, one uh, is that um, it is said that the Buddha is everywhere. 
and the second sentence is uh, regarding the mind it is also said that we of course do these exercises that there is no mind uh, and all that but uh, at the conventional level it is also said that the mind is everywhere can you clarify these two sentences for me This is, I think, it's a difficult question. <laughs> Not easy at all. <clears throat> that is, mm. I don't know if you just hear this, it's Sangeek. Sangeek is the same as the Sangi, you Nazulia, <laughs> Well, as his only said, probably this is a difficult question, but anyway, mm, uh, when we talk about, uh, you know, the, uh, the, uh, someone who is completely awakened, that's the Buddha, is omniscient. And uh, uh, when we're talking about someone is omniscient, uh, that uh, could imply that uh, the awakened wisdom mind of such can be present uh, anywhere, everywhere. And that is one sort of aspect of omniscience. And so, not only that, and uh, uh, wherever the, 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 um, uh, the, if the um, all-knowing mind or the completely awakened mind is uh, uh, omnipresent or all-pervasive, and there could be also physical manifestations of awakened ones present uh, there. I think it's better to say it. Uh, Buddha is not totally the kind of person or individual. I think it's Buddha is 
huge <coughs> kind of quality or wisdom. That's why I think that where's the so um, also another point is on saying that if uh, when we're talking about the Buddha is uh, present everywhere, if we uh, think in terms of um, you know physical entity, and then um, you know uh, we are not talking about a physical entity, you know, Buddha, you know, as an individual entity present, but when talking about the sort of the omniscient mind. Uh, and uh, which, which lacks sort of, uh, 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 you know, reference can be present. Uh, anyway, so maybe from that point of view. Now in terms of uh, <coughs> the, uh, <coughs> um, there being no mind, uh, there being no mind is from the point of view that um, there is no uh, one reference point that is mind that you can pinpoint. So from that point of view, one cannot come to the conclusion and say that this is the mind and being able to sort of like pinpoint, you know, have a reference. And so from that point of view, uh, how can we say there is mind? So from that point of view. But on the other hand, Saying that there is no mind does not mean that uh, uh, manifestations cannot happen. Unimpeded occurrence cannot happen. So, unimpeded occurrence can happen you know, in the way of perceptions, in the way of thought and so forth. Unimpeded perceptions can happen. And uh, so, um, <clears throat> so from that point of view, simply because that we cannot conceive of or have a referential existence um, to claim mind. So therefore, th from that point of view, there is no mind. But it doesn't uh, contradict the fact that nothing can become manifest. And uh, also, on top of that, that uh, um, we have to realize that our own idea of mind and for that matter, um, appearances from the point of view of confusion, you know. And uh, we cannot say the confusion is the truth, you know. So from that point of view also, that uh, um, uh, unless we have sort of um, uh, uh, broken through the veils of confusion, we cannot um, think of confused, encapsulated concepts as sort of possibility of reality.